Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel, The Traveling Blossom Tarot, where adventure meets the tarot and growth is in the cards. Welcome back. If you're returning, I'm so happy to have you here. If it's your first time here, again, welcome. Thank you so much. I just want to express my gratitude for your subscriptions, your likes, your comments, your follows, all of that. It has been tremendous. We reached over 300 followers this past week. I am like blown away. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> I, I never thought it, so thank you. I also want to direct your attention over to the community tab, so check out the uh, tarot giveaway there for the month of March. Um, the deadline is fast approaching here in a few days at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on March 31st, so do make sure that you enter that. And last but not least, I'd like to invite you to my live tarot on Mondays over on my Facebook channel at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's always a collective message and there's always free card pulls for you. So Cancer, without further ado, let's dive into the cards and see what the energy has in store for you. All right. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, Divine Mother and Father, Ancestors and Loved Ones. This is for Cancer. Highest energies overarching Cancer, please. Highest energies overarching Cancer. Highest energies overarching Cancer, please. Overarching Cancer. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, cancer, I was starting to feel like some flexibility is required here. Um, as I was rippling the cards that I first had, the energy was some difficulty, and then um, things started to flow a little bit better. So I feel like there, there may be a need for um, you to be... A little flexible or to remain flexible oh wow okay so that card shot off um, down under the table and I am noting that uh, this is the same card that um, Sagittarius got so you could be dealing excuse me you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or you may have recently broken things off with the Sagittarius or have strong Sagittarian um, placements in your chart. I also just saw 222 two, two on the clock, so twos could be very significant. I do feel like this could be, for some of you, at least a breakup, the energy that's coming in. But we have, uh, oh, that's in reverse too. So yeah, I do feel like you're, you're walking away from something, something that uh, you had put a lot of energy into. Uh, you have number 14 which is the card that Sagittarius had, it's goddess, may, may sure, or make sure <laughs> to feel it in your bones for you are what you believe. And then you also have uh, number 12, uh, flower crown. Now, in, the 12 is in reverse, and uh, 12, that's hangman energy. So I feel like you put some energy here. I feel like you, you hung out with this for a while right but let's see um flower crown it says wear your power proudly and unapologetically for it is your birthright and it is and is eternal like the soul that is interesting believe in who you believe in yourself it says make sure to feel it in your bones for you are what you believe and then wear your um, power proudly and unapologetically for it is your birthright and is an eternal or is eternal like the soul if I could read here there's steps here definitely it's like a step down I do feel you walking away from someone here after possibly some time of being stuck there after spending some a great deal of time with somebody with that uh, hangman energy also I want you to see the forest here with that forest it represents you know it takes a long time for um, you know, a few trees in a field to grow and evolve into a forest, right? That takes a long time. So I feel like you um, hung out there for a while, but you're possibly ready to let go. You're ready to leave. Um, you you know that there's um, better things awaiting you, and you know that you deserve better. Um, it's your birthright. It's your birthright. All right. Cancer, let's dive into the cards and see what else they have to offer. I, I really do feel a strong need to remain flexible. Um, things are, you know, number five, the 14, number five, it, um, 
that is a challenging number so things could be difficult things could be hard right now if, especially if you're walking away from a relationship or something it could be very difficult and it, it always is right I mean it's never easy to walk away I feel like this one with that 12 coming in reverse um, you may have wanted to walk away for quite some time uh, and if you follow my channel you know when the cards are quiet that there's something that needs to be communicated said or, or something like that um, so I feel like you may have wanted to say goodbye for a while you may have wanted to walk away from whatever this was for quite some time yeah holding back holy cow are you freaking kidding me this where did that card go <laughs> where did that card go oh there you are you're hidden you're hiding Holy shit. <laughs> Cancer. Look at this. The moon. And I said you're hiding. The card was hiding. So I feel like you may be hiding right now. You're walking away from something possibly that was hard. And you may be hiding out. Or you may be holding secrets. You may be, you maybe you haven't even said this yet. Um that's right here in the present so things are hidden secrets dreams desires okay seriously you don't have to pop this stuff all over the place <laughs> you really don't have to do that cancer seriously <laughs> I'm doing the, the uh, Celtic cross by the way um, so we'll pull all the cards and then we'll go into them. Yeah, you're really having a hard time balancing out um, what you want to do here. I feel like you really want to walk away or you want to say something or, um, you know, oh, yeah, you might want to say something. You might want to uh, say, yeah, I, I'm, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Okay, we'll see. Stop holding back. Stop holding back, Cancer. Tell me the story, please. Tell me your story. <laughs> Just trying to have a little fun with you. I know, I mean, things can be so hard, you know, when you're going through struggles and stuff. It can be very, very um, difficult. Oh, that one just flipped right on over. The outcome, please. a bit chapter is ending you're gonna walk away you could be traveling you could be moving forward and traveling um, it may take some time it's on the bottom of the deck so it may take some time like this may even if this if the first few moments of this reading has resonated with you cancer this may um, be something that does take you some time it may take you quite a bit of time to walk away get away do whatever you're gonna do uh, to come to terms with whatever it is you're going through and I say that because the world card is on the bottom and um, you know there's 78 cards in a deck so that to me represents at least over a year is what I'm getting um, so right here in the present you you have the moon your intuition um, I feel like you're struggling um, to balance yourself out to um, to 
uh, well, actually, okay, thank you, Spirit. Actually, you may be hiding money. <laughs> you have uh, the moon here at the heart or at the center. You have the moon and you have the uh, ten of coins on top of it. And that's what's blocking you. So you may be hiding money, hoarding money, setting yourself up for an escape, a future, uh, um, you know, uh, stability so that you'll have what you need. And you may be buying your time. You may be, um, you know, doing this on the down low, not sharing this with anybody because the moon, it's secrets. This is you following your intuition, following your dreams too. You have your dreams um, on your mind. You have... Um, your heart right this is something you want for yourself you want you want security ten of Pentacles you want that security so you may be holding back money uh, saving money pinching money um, you could even be saving up for something maybe you're saving up for a trip you're saving up for some travel something like that um, However, it, you know, it plays out in your life, but I see you hoarding money. I see you staying, you know, putting th putting money back, hiding money, maybe even hiding money from other people. Um, maybe you have to, you know, this, I mean, with the moon there, there's secrets and stuff. Maybe people are stealing from you or something. I don't know your situation, maybe, you know, but I do, I do see you um, holding money back and, um... With the Ten of Pentacles, uh, you know, may, you with the secret and all that, you may have hit some kind of lottery or something. A financial windfall, and you're not telling anybody, you're not sharing that because, you know, I mean, people could be like cockroaches coming, <laughs> you know, out of the woodwork to get your money. <laughs> Yeah, you may be holding back. I mean, there's a reason you're hoarding money. There's a reason you're saving for something and you're not telling anybody what it is. And I, I mean, you had that 12 um, feeling stuck. So I feel like you're walking away from something you're going after. You're getting ready to leave. You're getting ready to take flight with that number five right there, that 14 goddess energy. You're getting ready to take um, flight. Um... You could be moving away from someone that you have spent a long time with. Like I was saying, it, it, the energy feels like a breakup here. And it feels like you've spent some time with them with that forest there. Right? You spent some time with them. You may This may be a childhood sweetheart with that six of cups there. Uh, this is someone that, you know, you spent, like, uh, could be like, you know, a uh, well, like I was saying, high school sweetheart, you you guys had a life together and now things just are falling apart and you're just like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to save some money. I'm going to get the hell up out of here. <laughs> you know, and I don't blame you. You want your half. You want your half. Look, that 50 cents, you want your half. You want your half, your part. And um, I feel like um, you're trying to decide which way to go about things, which is going to be the most beneficial way for you to get to where you want to be, which is you want that you want that stability. You don't want to be without. You want your half. You want your foundation, right? And I feel like you have a lot of choices. You have a lot of thought. You have the Seven of Cups up here crowning you. So I feel like there's a lot of thought and it could be a lot of, uh, you know, racing thoughts about, you know, a lot of emotions around this. This is Seven of Cups. So, um, a lot of emotions. Yeah, there's a lot of possible avenues that you could take. A lot of different ways that you could take to get yourself out of this situation. You're just trying to figure out which is going to get you out of the situation without igniting more possible chaos or destruction or whatever i feel like a tower here i don't know why but i do um you know deep down inside you're wanting to share you're wanting to communicate you're wanting to express yourself you're wanting this change you're wanting to move forward you have the eight of wands down here at the um 
at the bottom in your heart space it's like your heart you're you're wanting to move on you're wanting to let go you're wanting to be free you're wanting to take action and go after your dreams after your hopes your new life your stability security however it resonates with you um you may be you may even jump off like you may be trying really hard to to stay put and save money and you know and all that but emotionally you're wound up you're like oh my god i gotta get the hell out of here i just gotta get out of here i gotta get out of here right and you're ready to spring you're ready for it just to pounce um emotionally so you could be really having a lot of energy internally you may want to meditate or something to ground yourself uh, keep your perspective clear keep everything clear um in your outside influences you have the uh three of wands in reverse um you're on your you know the choices possibly that you've made in your life you're you're not satisfied you've lost satisfaction with the the road that you've taken the path that you've taken you've lost that satisfaction with that some of you could uh, actually return home um, go back to your roots to, to um, gain some sort of stability when it's all said and done with that three of wands there um, someone in your family may have already contacted you and offered you a place to come and rest um, if you are going through a breakup you're you're gonna need that you're gonna need that stability you're gonna need that rest um, yeah in your hopes and dreams your fears you have the four coins so I feel like you are very concerned with the finances of everything with this the foundation of it all the resources will I have enough will I be substantial will it be you know will I be okay will I be able to um, take care of what I need to so I do feel you are holding back money and stuff just don't um, don't forget to indulge in yourself and give yourself a little bit right uh, to to you know not hold back um, from having fun and and exploring in your life and doing things you know little things for yourself because of finances um, you know just don't hold back too much is what I really feel there uh, I feel like you you may do that you may you may hold yourself back quite a bit you may you know you could be a hoarder <laughs> you're hoarding money though you're hoarding you know like you you pinch pennies like oh i'm not gonna go do that because if i if i go do that it might you know i might need that money um i think i think you uh can can let go a little bit i i really feel like you can let go a little bit and you know buy yourself a milkshake or something do something kind for yourself i feel like that's gonna be okay just don't hold on too tightly to whatever it is. Um, with it being in your hopes and fears and dreams, it could also be about you holding on to a dream. You've held on to a dream a long time. You've wanted out of this situation for a long time, so you've held on to this dream, and I'm glad you did because now I see yourself, you know, freeing yourself, hopefully, and being able to get out of this situation. So don't, don't, um, you know... I'm hearing that so don't stop believing hold on to that feeling <laughs> so you know don't stop believing just keep going keep going um, in your uh, in your advice um, we have the magician in reverse and I feel like spirit is saying to um, be mindful of shiny things right um, be mindful of 
the way that um, people can be, right? Um, stay grounded. Stay grounded with that magician right there. You know, you're not very grounded. You're not very clear. So clear your mind, clear your space, clear your spirit, clear out those old emotions, do positive affirmations, do emotional clearings, do any kind of um, releasing rituals, anything you can to, to gain that clarity because, uh, you know, if not, you could lose sight of where you're going. So, get clear. I feel like sometimes that you may become a little unclear. Uh, possibly because your emotional waters, you it becomes also overwhelming. That things just get so out of sorts. So... I, I really do feel like spirit is saying, um, slow down, meditate, you know, it's okay to slow down sometimes with that, that, uh, hangman's pause, take a pause, take a break so that you can be manifesting from a place of clarity so that your dreams that you get the dreams you're hoping for so that, um, you know, you're not manifesting things that are not what you want. So that later on, you're like, oh, shit, I really didn't want that. You know, <laughs> we, we're all guilty of that. Um, and the potential outcome, you have um, the King of Wands and Strength and Judgment. So it's your call. Um, you have the power. Step into your power. It's your call. You have the power. Uh, but the King of Wands here is in reverse. So I feel like Spirit is saying um, to um, remember there's this energy of being mindful. So I feel like there's an energy here uh, to be mindful of your temperament and um, take control over you know, the bullies in your life, the, the, uh, take charge in your life. We teach people how to treat us. Teach people to treat you with value and respect because you are amazing. So, you know, teach people to treat you that way. Take charge of the, the bullies take charge of, you know, the people that, um, take charge of your life. Take charge. You are your own leader. Step into your power. I feel like you, uh, may sometimes struggle with your power. You had it over here. Wear your power proudly and unapologetically. So I feel like this is saying here, spirit is confirming Wear your power proudly and unapologetically. You don't have to apologize for having a bad day, right? You don't have to apologize for having a bad day. Um, forgive yourself. Release yourself. Step into your power. Own it, right? Own it. So um, let's see what else the cards have to say. What else for cancer, please? What else for cancer? What else for can cancer? I do feel that there is also a need here to um, check your temper, right? Because sometimes your temper can be overpowering and um, it can take control. So check your temper. Stay in your power. Stay in that in that um, high vibrational side of yourself. We have the marriage card. It says marriage of souls in the union of two divine opponents. The marriage of souls is the union of two divine opponents. 
Take that however it resonates for you. You also have telepathy, close soul connections, harmoniously synchronized reenactment of telepathic moments. You could be receiving messages. Stay open. Open. See it for what it is. See the, you know, remain clear. You also got recognition. The universe will help you recognize signs and miracles. So be mindful. Um, pay attention. See what's going on around you. I do feel like with that marriage card coming out, this is about your union. Um, this is about a divine union or a union that, um, you know, you were in for a while. I do feel that energy. I felt that all along. Uh, let's get a believe in your own magic for cancer. There is a new contract awaiting you whenever you're ready, right? With that marriage card coming out. There's a new contract right waiting for you whenever you're ready. And you'll know. You'll know when that time is. Cancer. By the way, Cancer, you are crowning your energy here. That seven of cups. Okay. You got two fives and you got mirrored numbers so you could be um this really could be about a twin flame union this could be about a karmic maybe we had a union with someone you thought was your twin flame but it's actually a karmic but you have um 41 14 41. So those energies could be significant for you. And I do feel Leo energy. All the fire signs had energy of the five. That's two fives. So you may have strong fire placements or be dealing with a fire sign or something like that. If so, you might want to check those readings out. But the energy of the five, there's a lot of conflict and change and choices and uh, movement in the collective right now. It says sundress, do it for you. So Spirit is saying, do it for you. Do what you need to do for you. Release yourself. Free yourself from this situation. You have number 28 reduces to a 10. So for, again, there is an ending. Protest. Start a revolution. Do something new. Do something different. Um, go about things in a different way. A different. Um, take a different route. Number 17 reduces to an 8. Energy of the self. More Leo energy. Flower to be honest with yourself. So Spirit wants you to be honest with yourself. What do you really want? You know, is this is this worth it? And then you have number 36, reduces to a nine. Uh, Hermit energy could be dealing with Virgo. Uh, Hermit is about the inner self. So again, I feel like this is about you taking care of you and um, believing that, you know, believing in your abilities to do so gold you don't need someone to fix you you don't need someone to fix you gold and this is reminding me um a memory came up on my uh facebook today it was something that i had said a long time ago and and it is silence is gold and duct tape is silver <laughs> so with that gold i mean you know <laughs> duct tape fixes things i don't know why but they're they, i was being guarded to say that so yeah, you don't need someone else to fix you. All right, let's get you a mindful message, Cancer. Um, Spirit, what should um, Cancer be mindful of during this time? There's that hair that has been bugging me that finally found out. Yes, remain flexible. They're just now showing me that again. Remain flexible. This is all about flexibility. Curb your temper. Um, answer. 
Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, so Cancer, if you follow my channel, you know when my cards go quiet, there's something that needs to be communicated in this sense, though. What I'm getting is that silence is golden. Duct tape is silver. This may be a time where you need to be silent. Um, take it how it resonates. You got two, definitely about a contract, a union, a choice. There's a crossroads here. Doing our best. We are all doing our best with the understanding and awareness we have in this moment. Any decision I take is okay, no matter the outcome. I make the best of any situation and learn as I go along. So do the best you can. Just keep doing what you can. Conscious focus. Now there is an energy here to be mindful, to focus, to meditate, to, to center yourself. Come in, take those conscious breaths. Um, one, you know, a conscious breath is meditation, so do that for yourself. Conscious focus. It says, what I focus on, I attract more of. Starting with today, I will be more conscious of what I choose to spend time speaking or thinking of. I will do more things... Uh, more of the things that bring me joy and see as more and see as more of these things begin to effortlessly flow into my life. I might want to reread that for you. Um, what I focus on, I attract more of. Starting with today, I will be more conscious of what I choose to spend time speaking or thinking of. I will do more of the things that bring me joy and see as more of these things begin to effortlessly flow into my life. Um, Focus, look at the, uh, you know, see the blessings that you have, see the things that are already there, express the gratitude for what you already possess. That is a way of um, lifting you up and um, helping you to continue to move forward, remain in that um, grateful state. Okay, let's get you some charms. Let's conclude your reading, Cancer. Uh, if you liked it, uh, if uh, it resonated, please do hit the subscribe button, hit those jazzy buttons. Um, again, thank you for helping the channel grow. I really appreciate it. Okay, wow, you got quite a bit. You got quite a bit. Quite a bit. <laughs> you got the airplane, so I feel like Spirit is saying, um, yes, some of you could be traveling. All these fives could be about actual movement. You actually moving again we had that energy of some of you moving back home so it could be about you traveling back home um, taking flight you also got the starfish now uh, Sagittarius also got this um, so I feel like a fire sign could be significant for you but keep chasing your dreams you know what they are this is emotional energy it's water sign so it could be dealing with another water sign you also got the pumpkin, so October representing a time of change. Again, feeling that energy of the five, this is definitely a time of change for you. Um, you got made with love, so in all that you do, do it with love. You put love into everything that you create. You also got the Jesus fish, so do connect with your spirit guides, uh, communicate with them, and again, do everything with love. Jesus, uh, the Jesus fish, Jesus loves unconditionally. Um, you got the lotus, so you could be dealing with another water sign again. Scorpio energy, the lotus, something new is blossoming. There is a brand new beginning here, and it's coming from the murks of hell. It's like, you know, that, that lotus comes up from the murks of the swampy sea, from the depths of hell, and emerges into something truly beautiful and amazing. You also got the letter O. So O could be significant for you. Maybe your name starts with an O or the person you're dealing with starts with an O. Um, but that could be significant for you. And then last but not least, reiterating the, the power of number two and the contracts and the choices that um, you are having to make. You got the keys. You got two keys. So um, there's definitely, I feel like, someone here for you. There's three uh, loops there on each key. So um, two and three reducing down to five furthering the power of the five but in the contracts so this could be about your contracts moving changing um leveling up with that six but keys opportunities so um the number two 
significant, five significant, and I feel like even the three is significant for you right now, Cancer. Okay, so I'm going to get going. Um, until next time, take great care of yourself, and as always, may love and kindness burn.